Awesome. So, what's up, man? What's I'm going Seth, on? With according to Seth, I'm here with Francis Galuppi. 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 I messed it up. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> we just talked we about just it. We just talked about it, too. <laughs> oh, dude, it's all good. It's okay. Everybody fucks it up. It's totally fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's no. a great start, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no. So, um, I know this is your first, like, feature film. Yeah. I watched one of your shorts the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. Which um, one? I just watched it and I can't finish it. High Desert Hell? Yes. Okay, and cool, that was cool. freaking awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, dude. And I, I stayed up to like 5 a.m. watching your movie, The Last oh, Stop shit. in Yuma. Yeah, which thank is you, man. Awesome, thank you. By the way. Thank you. So, um, how are you feeling? Are you excited to be here? Very excited. Yeah. Yeah, it's like my first like big festival and, you know, I'm just like surrounded by so many fucking awesome filmmakers and it's just cool to be part of it, man. I know. Uh, Everyone's yeah. been super nice and like friendly here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't feel like pretentious or stuffy. Like, no. It's like, yeah. The, like, I, did you see the Toxic Avenger? I haven't, dude. Okay. I didn't get tickets. So uh, <laughs> the first night we went in, yeah. Shia LaBeouf was just like waiting by the door. Or not Shia Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. <laughs> was just waiting by the door yeah, yeah, and like yeah. greeting people. Yeah, yeah. And he was like the nicest person yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to say hi to him out there. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, so you was... got to meet him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super nice, yeah. So I know with this being your first feature film, yeah. is there a genre that you would like to target next and maybe like an actor or actress that you want to work with? Oh wow, uh, that's a good question. I keep, I feel like I keep repeating myself. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a new one. Uh, I have a western that is like I'm really trying to get the ball moving on, and it's like a full fledged western. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and in terms of actors, like, you know, we're targeting a handful of them, but like Kurt Russell is definitely up there. Kurt Russell's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a fucking legend. <laughs> he is. You yeah, have to get him, and yeah, especially yeah. for a western, like yeah, I feel like yeah, that would be perfect. No, for sure. Yeah. So that's uh. Kurt, if you're watching this, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, Kurt, <laughs> please work with him. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Make it happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you uh, know, he's a big fan of Seth, so. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He watches all my videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now he's going to watch yours. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the cast, all of them were absolutely fantastic. Thank I, you. They all, like, stood out in their own ways. Oh, they're all amazing. But yeah. I had to ask, what was it like working with Richard Brake? The guy is a freaking legend. Oh, he's, like, the sweetest fucking dude ever. So goddamn talented. He actually... He was like the first person to read the script. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, this was years ago, like way before we ever got financing. Like we sent it to him and he called me, we chatted and like he was like, oh, I want to do this movie. So when it, you know, after a long fucking roller coaster of emotions and trying to get the thing made, you know, I call, I mean, we were like staying in touch through email, but then I called him and I was like, it's happening. It's yeah. actually happening. And uh, he's just such a pro, man. He's such a pro and, um, He's a really good friend now, and I That's just love awesome. the guy, man. I'm going to see him next weekend. He lives in London, but he's going to be here for uh, Halloween 45. So Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm going to get home just in time to go. To the I wanted to go to that. I yeah, saw yeah. that they're having that. The original Halloween's like my all-time favorite horror film. Yeah, yeah. And I saw that they're doing like the whole like a whole festival just for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my, my buddy Matt uh, Ryan Tobin has a booth there. He's he's the one that did the poster for Last Stop. Oh, that's and awesome. And he did a poster for uh, my short film, The Gemini Project. So That's cool. Plugging you, Matt right? Tobin. Matt, <laughs> we're going to send this video to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so the film reminded me a lot of the diner scene from Pulp Fiction. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah. like that whole sequence, like basically it all taking place in there. I thought that was like, yeah. it reminded me a lot of that and I thought that was really cool. Yeah. But I wanted to see if that was like part of your inspiration or what other films kind of helped shape your idea for this one. Uh, hmm. A lot of movies. I mean, I just, <laughs> I fucking love movies. So yeah. uh, for me, like I think the biggest uh, points of reference were like Don Siegel, Sam Peckinpah, um, Funny Games was That's a great. huge yeah. fucking influence for me. Um, you know, that movie kind of made... That's the movie that made me want to make movies. Yeah. Um, and Jim knows that. And so when we were shooting the scene with uh, with Rich and Jocelyn, yeah, where Rich is talking to them, like, uh, I, whatever, I, whatever I was saying to Jim uh, at the time, and he was, like, basically, like, Funny Games. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I wrote fucking like funny games yeah. into this movie and didn't even realize it so it's perfect yeah like yeah funny games i would say big big reference that's awesome for me. yeah did you shoot uh in arizona too or no, no okay yeah no we shot in lancaster in lancaster yeah yeah i i can't remember I, like so i found the location first because that's kind of how i worked with my short films mm -hmm. like whatever i we didn't have any money so whatever i had uh access to you yeah know, like high desert hell that's my friend scott's desert house that's cool so i just like wrote a script based on that and then like the gemini project my other short 
my buddy had a cabin in Oregon. So we just like hopped in a tour van and like went out to Oregon and shot that. So when it came time to the feature, um, I found this location in Lancaster, took a bunch of pictures, uh, and sort of wrote the script based on the location. Um, That's cool. you know, had like an overhead map and just yeah. went from there. Um, sorry, what was the question? Where was I getting to? Um, well, oh yeah. The, um, like if you, where you filmed and, and it was in Arizona. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I remember like, so the location, I think what happened was like, there was Joshua trees around nice. and I was like, I don't want it to be in California. I think. And yeah. then, so I was like looking, I was like, Oh, I guess Joshua trees are also in Arizona. So I think that if I remember correctly, that was the catalyst for it. Yeah. But yeah. 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 <laughs> It, yeah. it, it looked kind of like Yuma's pretty much barren. So yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it was yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. I yeah, always yeah. love seeing films that like are supposed to be in Arizona because it's like, like you said earlier, you're like, I don't know if I got some of this right, but I'm like, it's hard to mess up the desert, right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's very true. Yeah, <laughs> you throw yeah. in a rattlesnake and you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we didn't have any rattlesnakes. God damn it. Exactly. Yeah, it's but, okay. Next yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I have worked with rattlesnakes before. Really? Well, you watch High Desert Hell. There's yeah. a rattlesnake in that. That, that oh, was yeah, a real sure. snake. Yeah, oh, yeah. It was a real snake? That was a real snake, yeah. That was our whole budget. Oh, <laughs> that, pretty much our whole fucking budget was the rattlesnake. That would have yeah. been terrifying. Dude, I'm terrified of snakes. And it was like, uh, I don't know, it kind of like conquered my fear. Really? Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Um, I remember like there was the, this one scene where like we were just getting a bunch of B-roll of the, of the snake. And it was like, I was I was only looking at the monitor. Yeah. And the snake like was getting really close to me. I was like, yeah, yeah keep rolling. This looks great. And then, like, my buddy Scott, like, tapped me on the shoulder, and I realized the rattlesnake was, like, really fucking oh, close. No. And I was like, oh, shit, cut, cut, <laughs> cut. Like, yeah. How do you, like, work with a rattlesnake? Like, how do you, like... Dude, this guy, Jules, he's a rattlesnake wrangler. He's, like, the fucking <laughs> boss man of... of I awesome. think he did snakes on a plane. And, like, Indiana okay. Jones... Like, it was crazy we got this guy to come out <laughs> and work on our tiny, like, no-budget film That's in so the middle awesome. of nowhere. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like talking about my shorts. No, it's okay. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, going back to your movie. Yeah, yeah. So I noticed, and it's funny, I've seen a few other films here so far that kind of had like birds in them, but I wanted to see what the significance of the bird was at the end of the film. I don't know. What was the scene? No, I, I, yeah, yeah you know, I, I always like sort of a bookend like that and like opening and closing the movie with that. And it, it was just sort of like, I don't know. I, just, I don't want to sound pretentious or it's but okay. it, it no. was like, it was like for me, it was. I always looked at Jim or the knife salesman's character as like uh, the universe, like testing his morality. Yeah. Like, it's like when he, as soon as he exits that diner, it's like, it's like he's in a game show. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all these things, these like signs from the universe, like the dollar bill. It's like, are you going to fucking take the money and run? Yeah. And, um, and so the bird in the beginning was sort of like signifying that like, this is, we are watching you. That makes and we sense. are testing you. Okay. You know what I mean? And that, and so like, and then at the end with like the bird getting slapped by the money, <laughs> sort of self-explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was yeah. cool how it was kind of like a test on like everybody's morality in there. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. a little sad with how it like that whole ending. I yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Some of these characters I care about. Uh, like, shit, oh yeah. I'm not going to. Okay. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers. Yeah. I yeah, promise. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, no, man, it was, uh, yeah, it was, like, sad, dude, because, like, I was, like, fuck, this is our, like, last day with all these actors, and, like, know. you know, yeah, it's a weird feeling on set when you kill people off, and you still have more time to go. Right, like, how does that work? So, like, do you, like, do that first, and then you still have to, like, work with them on other things, or, like? Uh, well, we shot this movie pretty much in order. Okay. Yeah, like, for the most part, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was, like... Yeah, I think after, you know, the moment, it was like we still had another like like eight days or something to go. So, yeah. That's awesome. Honestly, yeah, we had to say bye. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah. So, so I want to ask like one more question because I don't yeah. want to keep you too long. No, no, no. Go for it, um, man. Yeah. And I don't know, like I don't want to get into spoilers because I know the movie yeah, yeah. The premieres tonight here. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the one thing I wanted to ask, I, I saw that you were into collectibles and you love like <laughs> art and all those things. Uh, did you see that video on I YouTube? Did. Oh, fuck. Freaking awesome. I totally forgot that existed. <laughs> and uh, Jim saw it and uh, when the first time we met, he was like, yeah, I saw your Blu-ray collection. I was like, what the fuck are you talking I don't ever post my collection. <laughs> and he's like, no, I saw the YouTube video. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot about that thing. But yeah, I'm a huge collector. I love it. Yeah. Same. So yeah. I have to show you my movie room when we're done with this. Oh, nice. I have like Mondo okay. posters and figures. Oh, but... <laughs> dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted I'm... to... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, go for it. Yeah. I was going to say, I wanted to ask, do you have like a favorite figure or like piece of art that you have? Oh, man. Um, that Mondo Hitchcock figure. 
Oh, that's it's, awesome. that's like might be my favorite. Mondo favorite. puts out great stuff. Yeah, yeah. But like, I wish they did like a whole series of directors. Like, I want like a Kubrick that figure, cool. you know. Uh, they just did like Mattel just did like a little Spielberg. Jurassic I, I Park saw ride. those. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. got that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, so like that, and then you know, I have like some original art that's like you know, I'll be buried with yeah. it. <laughs> you know, like, um, but yeah, I have like. You know, Matt, Matt Tobin has done some originals for me that, like, I cherish. And, like, That's I have, awesome. like, a Greg Ruth, like, face hugger that I'm, like, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alien's, like, one of my favorites. So the yeah, face yeah. hugger's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a giant nerd when it comes to that kind of stuff. And if I if I was rich and had money, like, I would just spend it all on, you know, screen-used props. Yeah, we're the same. Yeah, I, yeah, like, that's yeah, where, yeah, like, all my money... I have, like, the movie room, and all my money goes to, like, figures and uh, art. Everything, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have two kids, and so it's very, uh, you know, it's not really responsible of me, but, like... Uh, like so, yeah, you gotta have your there, hobbies, right? Yeah, exactly. There's be- there's fucking worse things to be addicted to. Exactly. You know? I'm addicted to physical media, Blu-rays, and uh, toys, and art. Posters. Perfect. Those are the three best things. Yeah, you can't yeah, go wrong. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah, my, and my like my friend Scott, who is our script supervisor, he's like my collecting buddy. Yeah, and he also does stop motion. Scott Skywalker. Okay, right? Yeah, that's his Instagram handle. But he's You're watching this. Follow him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for meeting with me. Today. Yeah, of course, it was man. A freaking yeah. pleasure. Yeah, definitely. Make sure you go see his movie Last Stop in Yuma County. Yeah, it was freaking fantastic. Awesome, man. So thank, thank you. you, thank you, man. thanks so much. Seth. Of course, yeah, yeah. thank you, dude.